during your second trimester, there's an amazing amount of changes and growth that takes place in your baby during the second trimester. By the time you're four months along, your baby will be about eight inches long, weigh about one and a half pounds. The environment in your womb during your second trimester is very safe and your baby's still relatively small and has a lot of room to move around and kick and swim in your amniotic fluid. It's during your second trimester that you'll start feeling your baby move and typically it's between 18 and 20 weeks some you'll start feeling your baby move. First it'll feel like little flutters and, and then the kicking will start. Between 25 and 35 percent of babies changing position all of the time because they do have a lot of room in there and so you will actually feel kicking in a variety of different areas You'll also start noticing that your baby has periods of time when it's awake and moving around and other periods where it will kind of sleep. Oftentimes, those may not be harmonious with your sleeping and waking period. If you're holding still at work in a meeting, your baby will be busy kicking and carrying on. When you're walking around and, and doing things, your baby will be very still because it's almost like your movement lulls it to sleep. It's just something kind of funny we've noticed. It can be a little bit uh, disconcerting when you're trying to sleep at night and you're feeling baby move a lot. Anyhow, those are all signs of a healthy pregnancy. I bring them up because I wanted to make you aware of what your body's doing and so that some of the discomforts of the second trimester make more sense. So during your second trimester, you're, you are starting to show, particularly if this is your first pregnancy, your stomach is expanding, you will start noticing back pain because the tendons and ligaments that connect to your back are getting stretched and having pressure put on them for the first time. The other things that you'll notice is you'll start developing stretch marks. You, you want to start thinking about preventing stretch marks because your belly, your skin's going to start stretching and so there's some great things you can do to help prevent stretch marks. And the other thing you not want to be aware of is as pressure is put on your pelvis as your as your stomach grows, varicose veins will increasingly become a problem. It's something you want to prevent and there's some tips we're going to share about how to prevent varicose veins and that's important along with you want to prevent hemorrhoids as well because oftentimes varicose veins and hemorrhoids will not go away after your pregnancy. So preventing them in the first place is really the way to go. And the last thing that starts kind of kicking in towards the latter half of your second trimester are leg cramps. So let's go through these one at a time. 